Phew, chili. Guilty on all counts in a state case. No matter what happens in November, he cannot undo this verdict. I know many are celebrating and I get it, but my heart fucking breaks for our country. How did we get here? When did we stop requiring some darn decency of the most powerful person on earth? The grand jurors, the prosecutors, the judge, the witnesses and this jury deserve so much more than they will receive. This was a brave undertaking in an unnecessarily violent and politically charged America. FYI, today was a win for the rule of law. He's found guilty, he's found guilty on the third count against him. He's a felon. He's a fucking felon. <laughs> A special message for Donald Trump. On a scale from one to ten, my friend, you're fucked. In lack of other words, I'd say you're fucked. You are, as they say in Japanese, fucked from the head down to the knees. I am sorry to inform you, you are fundamentally fucked. They say, even if you vote for me, you're a racist. What they say, there's no one more racist than me. They say the MAGA hat is the new Ku Klux, the new Ku Klux hood. It might as well be a clan hood. I could be a Grand Wizard, I think I could very much do that, and I think I'd be a phenomenal Grand Wizard. But I'm not shaving my head. We'll do a phenomenal deal where I'll shave my pubes, but I'm not shaving my head. You deserve jail, man. You know, you, you belong in jail, um, Donald. I used to love you, but you let me down. You let me really down with the COVID in January 6th. So I hope you go to jail, and um, I really do. I think if we did what you did, we'd be in jail already. So there wouldn't even be a trial. We'd be in jail. Wow. All counts are unanimous. No hung jury. And oh, it's guilty! It's a guilty! Officially, Donald J. Trump has been found guilty. It is a guilty. Unanimous. Unanimous. It is guilty. G-U-I-L-T-Y. Let me tell you again. It is coming through here. It is a G-U-L-I-T-Y. He is guilty. Guilty on all 34 charges. Officially, Donald J. Trump is guilty i will say it very slowly in case you're joining us the official news is he is guilty we broke it before anyone else they are still talking about all types of Jews. he's guilty that is it guilty 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 donald j trump has been found guilty in the hush money trial all right don't know what they're gonna say it is a guilty Please leave your comments now. Trump is guilty. Wow. Wow. <laughs> my, my breath is actually taken away. Donald J. Trump has been found guilty. Yes, the question is, what's the likelihood that Donald Trump will, in fact, do some jail time? This is the most serious falsifying business records case in the history of the state of New York. About 10 percent of the cases result in a jail sentence. There are mitigating factors here, but the seriousness of the crime, the sheer number of felonies here, Donald Trump's total lack of repentance. It's not just the gag order violations. He's not sorry. He's out there. Uh, proclaiming that uh, that this was a travesty. It's the opposite of contrition. All of those factors, together with the ones you uh, point to, um, uh, will be taken into account at the sentencing. I think there is a substantial but not certain chance that uh, that the judge uh, gives him a custodial sentence of about somewhere in the six months uh, range. Uh, in New York, that's no benefit to get six months because you have to serve that sentence in Rikers Island. Of course, Trump won't serve time until the conclusion of his appeals. Um, but uh, but I wouldn't rule out a sentence of incarceration here. All right. Here to react to today's verdict, former President uh, President Trump's legal spokeswoman, 
uh, well, not former. I mean, she's President Trump's legal spokesperson, Alina uh, Haba. She's been in the courtroom the whole time. Uh, you know, everybody I know around President Trump says he's completely stoic, Did saw this coming. I guess that was clear in his comments about Mother Teresa. However, I'm sure it doesn't take the sting away. And based on the actions of this judge, one has to wonder, you know, four days before the RNC, is he going to release President Trump uh, on his own recognizance pending appeal? Is he going to uh, declare he has to have home confinement, can't go to a debate, can't go to his own convention uh, pending appeal? Uh, or will he want to send him to jail? Nothing that judge decides will shock me. No, it won't shock me. Let's remember who this judge is, Sean. Let's be very clear. And I am so happy to be on this show on such an important day in American history, because if we don't stop this now, we are done. And I don't mean now. I mean right now, as in yesterday. Judge Mershon today watched my client. I watched him. I watched the jury say guilty 34 times, and I watched him. And he looked at my client, and he covered his mouth. And he covered his mouth probably because he was smiling. Let's be very clear. This judge has Bannon, Weisselberg, and no, no shock to me, Trump. And he is a hundred percent a man that should have recused himself. But our justice system is so broken right now, Sean. And I want to also rem remind the American people of one thing. I am a legal spokesperson. I am also an American. And I will be voting for Trump, not because of President Trump, who I obviously support, but because I support America. And so does he. Our country is currently in a serious state. And we cannot look at this as anything other than a serious state of affairs where we have an issue, where people are using politics in the legal courtroom. It cannot happen anymore. I have seen it. I have been in court since October, trial after trial after trial. For 15 years, I have been practicing law. I have never seen anything like this in my life. And that judge intentionally wouldn't even allow in pretrial proceedings that the court will not report, they would not allow us to bring up that President Trump didn't even take deductions. He didn't do anything wrong. His CFO, him, the Trump Organization, the family, nothing. But that evidence was kept away from the jury, and it is intentional. This is not America. If you don't want to be found guilty of falsifying business records uh, 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 and, 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 and as a felony, you know, don't sleep with the porn star. Don't lie about it. Don't pay her off. Don't cover up the payoff. Don't cover off the payoff in the middle of a presidential campaign and, uh, and where, where you're making an illegal contribution. And don't, don't gross the guy up for taxes who you, who you used as the, as the front man. If you, won't want, if you don't want to be held liable for rape like Donald Trump has, don't grab the woman's genitalia. If you don't want to be held liable for defaming the woman that you raped, don't keep lying about what you did and calling her a nut job. If you don't want to be indicted for overthrowing the Constitution, don't start a self coup. If you don't want to be indicted for classified stealing classified documents and obstructing justice, don't take the classified documents. When the government asks for it back, give them back. If if you if the FBI serves you with a search warrant, don't hide the documents uh, and don't and don't lie about it and don't have your lawyers lie about it. This isn't that hard. Donald Trump is not the victim here. Well, listen, Sean, I think you're exactly right. What we saw today was an absolute travesty of justice. This was not law. This was not criminal justice. This was politics. This was a political smear job. This was an attack job. This is what you see in banana republics. And, and, and it is, I am both furious and heartbroken at the same time. I'm furious at what we saw, but I'm also heartbroken for the rule of law. I'm heartbroken for our justice system. You know, last night I was on with you and, and I suggested maybe there was hope for the jury. Maybe one juror would would hold out. And I got to say, you shook your head and said, no, New York is too far gone. I'm sorry to say, Sean, you were right. There was not one out of 12 who stood up and said, this is garbage. This is this is election interference. These are lies. This is a kangaroo court. We didn't have a single juror that that, that said that. Now, you look at the rulings from this judge, this partisan judge. They were so biased. I'm going to tell you right now, the chances that this decision is overturned on appeal, 
I believe are 100.0. This will be overturned. And by the way, the judge knows it will be overturned. And that's the whole point. He doesn't care. The objective today was to get the two words that we saw the Biden White House say in, the, in their press, press release today, convicted felon. Between now and November, the Democrats and the corporate media will use the words convicted felon about a billion times. This is all about politics and influencing the election, and it is a disgrace. Doesn't it really come down to, Senator, as I said, that the real verdict can be rendered now by the American people, and that verdict will be rendered... Yes. Uh, on November 5th and in the day's early voting and, and voting by mail ahead of time, which I strongly encourage as much as I don't like it. But I think that verdict will be really this coming election. Do you agree? I, I, I do. And, and, and listen, I, I hope and pray that, that, that people who care about the rule of law, who care about the Constitution, who care about justice, are outraged. Maybe you love Donald Trump. Maybe you can't stand Donald Trump. But, but if you care about our, our system of justice, if you care about democracy, look, look, it's saying democracy feels strange now because every Democrat runs around like a peacock squawking about democracy. But this is an assault on democracy. And, and you know, I really hope, I got to say in the Senate, we have 51 senators, not one has the courage to stand up and say this is wrong. I would respect a Democrat senator who says, listen, I disagree with Trump. I, I, I'm, I'm not supporting him, but this shouldn't be what we're doing. We should not be abusing the justice system to go after our enemies. And not a single one of them is willing to say that they will all say felon, felon, felon. And, and, and they're complicit in the corruption of our system. And, and my hope is that it opens some people's eyes, that it opens people's eyes. Wow. Yeah. This is rigged and corrupted in a way that is dangerous. Senator Cruz, thank you again. Uh Inside Donald Trump's prison cell, the surroundings are like any other small enclosed space. The walls are gray concrete and a narrow cot with a thin mattress is the only piece of furniture. A tiny metal sink and toilet combo sit in one corner. While a small barred window allows a sliver of natural light to filter in. The sound of clanking bars echoes through the air as guards patrol the hallway outside. What? What? What is... President Trump is 76 years old. He will die in federal prison. Trump spends his days pacing the limited floor space. The once powerful man now finds himself in a place of confinement. 